Marian Anderson is broadly recognized as one of the great operatic singers and performers of classical music in living memory. She was born in Philadelphia, one of three sisters. Her father, who sold coal and ice in Reading Terminal Market, died when Anderson was 12. After this time, her mother, Annie, supported herself and her daughters, caring for young children and later working as a cleaner in the Wanamaker's department store. Anderson's talent was recognized when, as a young girl, she sang in the choir of her church, the Union Baptist Church at Fitzwater and 19th Streets in South Philadelphia. Members of the congregation raised money to support Anderson's professional training. Anderson launched her career in Europe in the 1920s, where the barriers against black artists were less onerous than they were in the United States. She was a contralto, the lowest register category of the soprano voice. The oratorio of Bach and Handel were her mainstay. So magnetic was her stage presence, and so powerful was her ability to make every sung word meaningful, that she specialized in the lofty song repertoire of Strauss, Mahler, Brahms, and Schubert. Anderson also incorporated Negro spirituals, the songs of slaves, into her repertoire, establishing songs like Go Down Moses and My Lord What a Morning into the operatic canon. Having earned the esteem of Europe, Anderson returned to the American stage in 1935 an acclaimed star. Leading conductors from Leopold Stokowski in Philadelphia to the young Leonard Bernstein in New York sought to perform with her. She enjoyed an international career performing at the inauguration of presidents of the United States and breaking many racial barriers. In 1955, she was the first black singer to perform on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera House in New York. In 1938, Howard University conferred an honorary doctorate on Anderson. The following year, the historically black college of Washington, D.C. sought to organize a concert with Anderson at Constitution Hall the premier concert venue of the U.S. Capitol. When the Daughters of the American Revolution, the DAR, would not allow Anderson to sing because of her race, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt resigned from the DAR in protest and arranged that Anderson would sing instead at the Lincoln Memorial. Anderson's performance on Easter Sunday, April 9, 1939, at the Lincoln Memorial is considered a milestone in the progress of civil rights. Her powerful phrasing of, my country tis of thee, and land where my fathers died, was so powerful and inclusive that the concert is thought by many to be on a par of significance with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. Genius! Genius draws no color line. And so it is fitting that Marian Anderson should raise her voice in tribute to the noble Lincoln whom mankind will ever honor. Miss Marian Anderson. <laughs>